Hello everyone, what you're looking at here is my geek box. It's my geek box for January 2021. I've sort of pre-opened it because I thought there would be another box inside with the nice my geek box colors, but this time there isn't one. So we will go right ahead and see what the contents are. Uh, I did spot there were some figures, but beyond that, everything is nicely hidden by this uh, very crackly bubble wrap. So let's see what we've got. I'll give you a, a chance to look inside as best you can around those various reflections. And the thing that stands out is these mini heroes. There's actually quite a lot of empty space in here, so it could have fit one of the branded boxes inside. but. Let's start off with this the first of two mini heroes. Essentially the little vinyl figures. This one is Spider Gwen. Uh, it it does look familiar, so I have this suspicion that it's one of those I've received in a previous box. If not this one, then then one very like it. The way that sometimes these figures do make their way around. We say about it there's three of them in this particular series one so many of these types of series aren't there out there about different ones official marvel item anyway made by gentle giant nice name for a, a company not too much more to say about this one though it is slightly smaller than the typical type figure hence the name mini heroes but in quite a large box so maybe it isn't so obvious just by looking at it but anyway, nice enough item to have. There is one more of these as well. So this one does look new. So let's take a look. Thanos, same series there. Take a look at him. The balloon, similar kind of size. There's a look from the, the side, what the figure looks like. There's the back of the pack. So, there's the, only, so the one we don't have is, is Iron Man. Got these interesting type of mounts as well that they put on or display mounts, a bit better than just a, a plain block there. And there's another look from well, I guess a different angle. But yeah, so two mini heroes. It was nice to have some figures in these boxes. And we've got two more items in there, there might be three. Let's get a coin out first. So my geek box tends to have a lot of these collectible type coins. This one, Ricky and Morty, uh, Mr. Missix, there, probably upside down the way this has gone in the, the pack. That might make a bit more sense. Official item. This is the My Geek Box Comic Con Variant 2 which suggests there's at least one more variant of this and possibly a, a non-variant version as well. Looks vaguely familiar, but I've lost track a bit with these collectible coins because they're not something that I particularly collect, despite their name being collectible coins, but I know many people do there. But but yes, yeah, so it's not one that's there's a limit. It's not one that's numbered or with a... Um, a number with it or saying how many but imagine being a, a comic con variant it must be a, a bit limited in numbers anyway I think there are two more items in here let's do the this one first because i can see what it is and this one does look like a duplicate there are harry potter collectible 3d eraser nicely boxed there uh let me own isn't it so it tells us much more about this one Wizarding World item. Fairly certain I have had this before. And it is there with my stack of erasers somewhere. But, but you know, useful enough. Whenever I do things with pencil, which isn't very often now, but then again, it's almost the kind of eraser that it would be a shame to use. So we have one more item, which comes in a convenient extra bag. Might give us a clue what it is. Oh, Dead Rising multi tool. From that side, it looked like a bit of a surprise, but now I see this loot crate little logo with it. 
now he's seen the back of it, then less of a surprise because I'm fairly sure I own this already. Dead Rising 4. And when I say I own it, I think I probably own it from Loot Crate rather than from my Geekbox. But my Geekbox does tend to have quite a few of these uh, leftover or recycled items in there as well. So it is a it is a multi-tool, in other words, a I guess a Swiss army knife, but without the the name and the branding. So there we go. Oh, yeah, third layer of packaging to get inside it. Just keep it looking nice. Uh, do you know what? There is a fourth layer of packaging as well, although a little bit of plastic has come off. But anyway, there you have it. You may recognise a sort of Swiss Army knife type um, feel to it. Always useful type of items. So there'll be a little screwdriver on here and probably a pen knife. I think there's a torch you might just be able to see as well. This is supposed to be some pliers. I'm not going to attempt to pull these out with with one hand. That could go horribly wrong much as it would probably improve the video. So that's what we have, my Geekbox January 2021. You may not get exactly these items if you order my Geekbox, because I think it does seem to vary a bit, but decent enough. Multi-tool would be really useful if I didn't already have it, but it would still, still be useful for somebody. Then collectible coin, the, the rubber, stroke eraser, depending whether you refer to it as a rubber or not, and the two mini heroes. They all work very well. So that's what you get. Thanks for watching the video. Check out the various other unboxing videos on the YouTube channel. Do post your comments. See what you think for this UK-based Geek Subscription Box. And of course, you can read about these items as well at geeksubscriptionbox.com. Catch you soon.